Welcome to the arena. Today we're playing Jetmir Nexus Revels. This is a very aggro Naya deck. This commander wants as many creatures on the battlefield as possible. It would prefer that you have nine because for every three creatures on the battlefield you get a plus one plus a zero plus a gum a keyword you gain vigilance first then you can gain trample and then if you have nine you get double strike so this deck is consistently of um a very low mana curve one two three there's actually no four drops or four drop is always going to be jet mirror that's a goal goal of this deck we do have five five drops of higher just for a little late game but generally we want to hit at least two creatures on the battlefield before turn four ideally we could get about five before we drop jet mirror we have um plenty of one drop creatures just to get something on the board we have some ramp we have um Alsor, perfect um, to prevent countering. Ragavan, great one drop. Defector Might, protection. Esper Sentinel, I must include for any deck playing white. Then we have some, um, a few instances just to kind of help support the commander. And our two drops are really creatures or token creations. We got Farhand for a little ramp. Clearing Spirit to create more tokens. And because our deck runs so low to the curve, you will have a good chance of triggering this more than once rise alarm token generation another token generator protection token generator taxing the opponent this helps this will also help pr protect our commander from counter spells uh, this does go a little counterintuitive with the two drops but I have I found it not to be that serious a problem. You could drop this on two, and when your two drops on three, and you're fine. Or you could do this when your two drops on your turn two, and then drop Dahlia on turn three to have some protection to cast your commander on turn four. So it's not that bad. You might have to just do a little thinking beforehand. Just make sure you order your moves in the next step or two. Tide Taker. This is um, just attacks. Tax your opponent if they try to stop your commander from being cast. And you also get a token afterwards. If, it, if they kill it. Token generation, token generation, token generation, token generation. Um, Elvis, just a card draw. Good card draw. Gallagrader. This um, helps with um, creating some treasure tokens that could um, help you ramp, up, ramp a little sooner to turn three. To catch your commander. And also just because the amount of tokens we create, we generally get a one, a one plus one counter on him and we get a treasure token. Prosperous Innkeeper, some life gain, a little treasure token, get our commander out a little sooner. Token creation, uh, Sky Knight token creation, join the dance, token creation. And then we have some um, more tax pieces. Peacekeeper, Archon Emery. This isn't too bad because generally we're going to play one card per turn. Um, I haven't got, and this will slow down your opponents too from um, slowing you down. So this is fine. Um, artifact removal, token creation, some more tokens, Teferi, protection, um, some more taxing the opponent, token creation. We got Adeline, powerful card with this commander with all the tokens. Uh, this card can also create us a token and also get us a plan in case we're missing our land drops. But if we're already having two whites, we generally don't need uh, another planes, but you never know. Haven't um, had too much use of this card yet in this deck, so this could be a cut later down the road if I find something better. Skyclave Apparition, just a little bit of removal. More tokens. Frace Breaker, get some treasures. Double body more bodies when this creature dies which is great to rebuild the board if um we get board wiped season pyromancer um i like this card in the deck but i haven't got a chance to really use it as much as i wanted to yet so this is still on a testing board for me enchantment removal more tokens more tokens this card 
I feel like it fits the theme of the deck, but generally turn three, I'd rather just cast a creature and then turn four, cast my commander. This card might be cut later down the road if I find something better. This is on a cutting block of like almost a maybe. Like it feels great if you're um, if you're building Jetmir more mid range or late game. I feel like this is a little better. But even when you cast Jetmir on turn four, you create a, a warrior creature. But that creature comes in with um, some new sickness, so it's not that great. This might be cut later down. March of the multitudes. Must have. Must have. This is a very, very powerful card with this deck, and you'll see in the videos that this card will actually blow your opponents away. Because even though this is a four drop, what happens is this card actually gets cast on turn four. So if you have, let's say, one creature, you get a double token, and maybe one or double tokens, you could have up to three to five creatures. And you really only need three, because what happens is, when Jetmir comes on the battlefield, your creatures have Vigilance. So when you go in turn four, you're going in for your strike, you say you have one, two, three, minimum three, minimum three. You can um, tack all, and as you're tacking, you can um, tap them all because they have Vigilance, and cast it to actually pump your creatures even more. Because you'll have one, two, three, four, so you can pop one more, you'll have five. So five isn't too much. You really want to have at least four creatures plus Jetmir. So hopefully you have like say one, two, three, four, cast him five. So you have five creatures on board, all on tap, you're attacking with vigilance. And as you're going for the Alpha Strike, if they try to do some blocks, you can throw them off by tapping all your block all your creatures pumping out two more tokens to get to that six seven range and you'll actually get the one plus one and the trample this is a great fight spell or end of the turn spell your opponents i, I actually like to use this during combat step to really just seal the deal so this is actually if you're going to craft a um mythic wild card i would definitely add this one to the deck you will be very happy with this uh rocco this is a tutor that we're using I like Rocco because for whatever reason, maybe late game we need to tutor up a creature to remove something. Or, if, you know, it's just a great tutor that synergizes with this deck because he comes in, he also brings in another creature. So it is like a two body for a uh, four mana. But even with four mana, you could bring another Abundant Harvest. I'm sorry, not Abundant Harvest. You can bring your Alice Source if you're worried about your commander being countered and for whatever reason you couldn't cast him on turn four. Or you can bring a little Phoenix Chick, you know, bring in that little extra haste. A little haste. Esper. I mean, you have you have some one drops you could pick. And a few two drops. This is a fun tutor. You, this Even though it's in the three, I would actually put it almost in a five mana category. Five plus. Same thing with um, this instance. You're going to kind of cast it during your turn four or after. And then for turn five, in case it goes, doesn't end. Burn down the house is a great finisher. Create three one one devils. You know, by that point you're probably at nine creatures on the board. You're gonna win the game after that. Naria's resolve gives all your creatures plus one and haste. We're just here for the plus one. And if our game's going a little late, we could actually exile our commander to give it some protection. From board wipes and stuff and bring it back the next turn. Mariah's Awake, same thing, a plus one, plus one, and a bunch of more mana if we need to do something. Uh, Misk and Boo, I just like this card in all my girl decks. This is just a fun card to have. Plus Trample Haste Hamster, brings a body on the board. Love it. And also Tali, every time I'm playing red and green, um, I want to put this card in my deck. I just do not ever see myself having a problem having this card in my deck. And so for in for the mana base, we got pretty much all your rares for your lands. Uh, we're running 40 lands. Feels good. We have 37 creatures, 6 instances, 10 sorceries, 3 artifacts. Um, I had a lot of success with the deck as it is, but I actually think you could drop it even lower to the ground. But yeah, we're going to get into some games and you can see for yourself how this deck plays out.
Mm, this might work. Just now, we're gonna do that. We'll go in and attack first. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna get, get a good swing. Oh, okay, we're getting a good swing in next turn for sure. I'm definitely gonna hit hard. So he sacrificed a green. Oh, he needs. He needs some red mana. Okay, gets his mana. Oh, that's cute. But we are gonna do this. Two, three. Okay, that's fun. Actually, I feel like we got a pretty good hand to come back if they board wipe. We could start dashing. Honestly, I don't even care. I think you. I don't think that's gonna save you. I think we got this one wraps. Yeah, I don't think they got this. We'll just... Oh, he's so smart. He didn't block. If he blocked one of the, yep. Yeah. Okay, GG's. Okay. Yeah, March of the Multitudes. This is a really good card. I love this card. Even if you go... This card works really great because let's say, turn four, you cast your commander. And you give them all vigilance. So even if you have, like we had four creatures plus this five, you can still cast and get two more and then get the trample. Like, this is actually an extremely potent card in this stack, and I'm very sneaky. Um, not a bad. I'm not really... Oh, wait. Unless you control... Okay, yeah, we're fine. We should be fine. I got four lands. They play mono red, though. Hmm... Oh, put that out first. I'll probably slow him down. I don't think they're a creature deck. I think I think they're possibly a lot of instants and sorceries. So this might just kill their game plan. Maybe not kill, but slow it down. That actually costs one mana. That is funny. Uh, let's see here. Let me cast a creature spell. So we could go this.
We'll just attack first. So we can Okay, we're gonna get... Unless you crawl, control a mountain or planes. Let's do this. We're gonna do this. So I should be able to go like this, go like this. We got a pretty hefty board here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I could cast like a burn down the house. Okay, come on. Oh man! Okay, wait. Okay, we're doing this. Okay, we get we have boo. We have boo as a bat. Okay, they actually. Okay, it's okay. They can actually take our command. Okay, I think we got this in the. I think we have this sealed. And then go in for an alpha strike. Oh, damn. You know, math is for blockers, as they say. Okay, normally I don't know if I would have gone with these three, but because we had Talia. Oh. See, like, the three mana board wipes would hit everything but our commander. Which is fine, but this is ultra drop. Minskin Boo to a uh, five drop. We start going in with the trample. That'll help us almost finish the deal. Actually, they had a three drop. We bring this in. I don't know. I mean, I think we had some option. I think we had some interesting plays here. Or are they gonna go bigger than us? Uh, I don't like having this in my opening hand. I'm gonna keep it though. Draw a card at two mana of any color. Crit and tap. Put one plus one counter on you. Go. No a non token RF again, pal. Library, Mikesk. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Love it. Love it. Oh my god. This. 
Okay, let me just go back here. Can I can I look at the card? March of the multitudes once again, sealing the deal. It's, it's a, you must. This is a must-have. Must-have to convoke, instant. And also the fact that your creatures have vigilance, so even if they tap them, you get. It's a, it's also a battle trick. This is this is a. If you're gonna craft a mythic for this deck, this is one of the ones I highly recommend. It's definitely in the top ten. I would crack. We have more on clacks. I wish we had a turn two play, but we have a very strong turn one. Going kind of slow, but maybe Thalia will help. I guess I think about attacking. You do know I have first strike, right? Oh, you don't know. You don't know. Oh, wow. We might have just got fucked over there. I really thought I could get in for the sweep. Yeah, that's okay. Honestly, I think we're still fine.
This is a little tough pickle here, but I don't think we're doing too bad. I get one, two, three, four, five. I think I get that really. Care of it has. Oh, okay, eight. Oh, I have seven, eight. Okay, well, I can remove that. Well, I could get rid of that. Get a remove um artifact. That's fine. I mean, I'm slowly building. I mean, I don't know that makes a difference. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sword to plowshare, the commander. And I don't need to get rid of that yet. That's fine. And okay, that'll get six. So I still got time. Draw a card. Oh my god! You, you didn't have anything else in the gas tank? I mean, like, I, I almost surrender there. I thought you had this. I legitimately almost thought you were going to win this. You know where he screwed up? He should not have attacked with this. At least if he didn't attack with this, I would have been forced to use the sword plowshare or removal. Yeah, I don't like he had he had a good little one-two punch play there. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he was forced to do things he didn't want to do. So, anyways, next turn. One, two, three, four, four, six. So we had one, two, three, four, four, six, seven. Discount one. We could have cast this for five mana to get a three mana creature. We could have destroyed this, and then we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, then we we start having a full board. And as a green, he doesn't have a board wipe, but I don't. He just wasn't putting in damage. But I would think as a born green ramp, you would just have some powerful green spells. Like he didn't. He didn't draw. Like, Bushwhack? I don't know if Bushwhack is really good. I mean, yeah, it's a fight spell, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a good fight spell when you got a fight creature. Anyways, I think we had this one as a win. 
I thought they had something to come back with to beat us, but they clearly didn't, or they just couldn't handle it. GG's. Oh, man. I really wish we had this on turn two. Oh. oh. We don't even have a white. I mean, by turn two, we'll have a white. Okay, whatever. We're gonna stick with it. I don't know if this is good or not. They go first, they can have a blocker. Oh, okay, there's a white there. Oh, well, maybe play Sky. He can have us do some fight spells. I think we already screwed up because we didn't have a turn one. I mean, like, what's the point of having Ragavan if you're not going to turn one? You know what I mean? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, they just ramped. Yeah, they, they ramped way too fast for us. Fucking me? They took my only. I have my only big. Oh my god. Are you really. Are you serious? You literally took my only Atali. Like, what are the goddamn odds? Holy shit. Holy shit. This is disgusting. Like, I am playing fair magic. Honorable, fair magic, and you're out here being a disgusting magic player. Okay, look at this monkey. Turn for monkey. Turn for monkey. Turn for monkey. Holy crap! I was just trying to be honest person here. And you go off and do this, like, fucking menace to society shit. Holy shit, so you got one, two, three, four, four, I mean, like, ram, 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 ram. God damn. God damn. Uh, what do I want to do? Yeah, I think we're done. I mean, can we just, can we take a moment and realize... That they grab one of the four, one of my only. I have so many cheap creatures, and they grab my only Atali. Like I don't even have that many creatures that are powerful. They grab. They literally they grab out of the hundred cards my strongest card in the deck without even trying. They could have grabbed. So, like why didn't they grab? I don't know. You win some, you lose some. <sighs> something, something, something. Wise words from an old man. So we're playing against a green-white deck. I mean... I guess this is fine.
Okay. Well, are we playing like a taxing deck? No, good charm, don't really. Too crazy there. I mean, this pretty much like hard stops us. I mean, we're kind of doing fine. I mean, oh, they... No, no, this is our turn four. Ugh. Gross. They're really trying to race us, though. Too green, too white. Uh, we'll do green. Yeah. I mean, we have a hefty board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I don't I don't want to be bouncing it because that will come back. I mean, he's trying to race me. I think I don't know. He definitely has he survived. What are you trying to exile? Okay, well. That's fine. I mean, I got six mana. You need a board wipe. Do you have the board wipe? Draw a card. He needs a board wipe. He might have a board wipe. Oh, well, I mean, I could do this. It's not a big deal. I mean, I saved myself some damage. He did not have the board white. <sighs> this, this, this really did keep him in the running. This, this really did slow me down. This, this slowed, this slowed me down a lot. This is actually pretty good against our deck. The Marasm, oh, so he had like five, six, seven. Fourteen? 
15, 16, 17. So what were these? Was he land? Was he um? Was he mana screwed? Was he all real estate? Did he own real estate in his hand? Did he never level this up to level three? I don't know. I think he made some mistakes there. I mean, you could level this up to level three and just look at the top deck. Yeah, because it's not highlight. Level three isn't highlighted. So he got the count. I don't know why he just didn't highlight it, just to accelerate his board. Or put a um, his commander out there to kind of thin out his deck a little bit. Another blocker. I don't know. I don't know. This right here. I think this this was not optimal. This was not optim optimal. He should have definitely leveled it, especially when he has 17 mana. 17 plus. 5, 6, 14, then like an extra 3, 14, yeah. No, 5, 6, 14. Yeah, 6, 17. Yeah, he had 17. I can't, I can't count. I don't know why. Okay.